Hello, I'm Donna Hanks and I'd love to share my recent insights. I've been receiving lovely intuitive messages since I experienced my beautiful goddess prayer last month and I'm naming this message or this lesson Path to Peace. Uh, I love the three word headlines and affirmations and if you follow me you'll know my Headlines are always three words and uh, the more I coach people, the more I see that ultimately we want peace and often I'll help someone with a challenge and so I believe the ultimate um, therapy and coaching is really uh, to transform from a challenge to the resolve, to the resolution, to the peace. So if you're experiencing a challenge uh, any sort of hardship, I say challenge rather than problem, uh, any family issue, perhaps a conflict or a dispute. And these words, I'm going to say all the negative words straight out the gate, um, a breakup, any loss, financial challenge, bankruptcy, addiction, health issue, or someone close to you is suffering and they are having one of these issues and you are feeling their pain, that's also a lot to take on. So any loss or negative issue of any kind for yourself or a loved one who you're helping, then this message is for you. Now, firstly, I want to say it's okay. I love soothing, kind words from loved ones. It's okay. You're going to be okay you are okay. I love it when people say that to me. Um, so I'll start with you are going to be okay. You're listening to this audio and let's heal it now. Now this um, audio coaching session is going to be concise as all my coaching sessions are in the audio lessons and if you want more information uh, please contact me. I'm starting with the negative words. I used to not use negative words and uh, deliberately avoided them and now I say them to release them and one of my new recent ins insights and a big shift for me has been I mean I've always believed in feeling your feelings that's also my I love you book and it's in a lot of my blogging I've always said feel your feelings it's just now it's on another level it's yes I'm saying still feel your feelings it's more than that it's actually embracing it almost and really accepting them and accepting the situation for what it is that's upsetting you, uh, though not not to acknowledge it for too long, and that's the key. It's acknowledging it and feeling it, embracing it and accepting it, but not for too long. You're doing this to move on, so you're embracing it to move away from it. So I'll go on and explain, and I'll give um, in this lesson three steps uh, how to have this beautiful path to peace. Um, so one is just like the headline says, um, the path to peace. It, and as I've said, accepting the situation. Feel it, face it. When I've had challenges in the past, I've tended not to face them. Uh, I've hidden from them or buried them, um, not looked at things, like literally not looked at things. Like say there's a document about something, you don't want to read it, just not looking at it. It suppresses emotions as well. So um, totally exacerbates the situation, makes it worse when we won't face it. It's suppressing emotions also has a, um, it's connected to physical ailments. So it could be physically sick from suppressed emotions. So it's feel the feelings and the best way for me to do this and I strongly advise everyone do this is to share your story, the situation with a loving supportive person who you can 100% totally trust like I do with my loved ones. There's a few amazing supportive loved ones, namely my beautiful parents and there's others I won't name today who help me, support me, uh, on my side. I say someone who's on your side, feel how you feel, tell them the story, cry about it, sob about it, hit something if you're angry. You most likely are angry at someone else, even possibly yourself or both. I say hit a pillow or a punching bag or something. Definitely get out anger. Don't hit another person. Um, feel all these negative emotions. I'm going to name some. Sadness, anger, betrayal, loss, 
heartache, I cringe a bit even saying these words, shame is a big one for a lot of people. Guilt is also a big negative emotion we can carry around for years and not release. Loneliness, very draining. Fear, very draining. Discomfort of any sort creates actual physical pain, I believe. Emotional, any emotional pain or emotional abuse, we can... Um, manifest physically. So we really have to feel these negative words. I can, as I'm saying these negative words, I can actually feel it in my solar plexus. I have a really strong physical reaction to doing this, which I do when I do the prayer for myself and I do it with people. Um, the solar plexus being where your diaphragm rests. Um, it's a real physical release. It totally confirms my belief that the, the mind-body connection, that your emotions are totally related to your physical ailments um but that's a lesson for another day now the solar plexus is also associated with personal power which makes so much sense it's empowering to release negative emotions it's part of my empowering coaching and the goddess prayer that i teach it releases negative energy and the solar plexus is the center of your energy channel and i've only just started to actually research chakras because i could physically feel these sensations when i um release negative emotions. So it's feeling the feelings, letting them go and surrendering to the situation or the challenge. And that in essence is my beautiful goddess prayer. I teach this to release, surrender, to then make this space for these beautiful immediate benefits of calm and peace and relief is how you feel. I really feel a bit like that, just saying those words. So when we surrender to our feelings, we release them and we release the issue and it's absolutely magical because then we create that beautiful energetic space I talk about. And it can be literally, it can be like physical and emotional space. Um, we open it, I feel really open, like we feel really open um, to heal it and then we can let all the goodies come in. That's that's what it is. It's also letting go of the past. It's feeling it to move on from the past. We absolutely need to let go of the past and we only have this moment now. Magic. It's magic. It's freedom. It's freedom from the pain and the suffering and it's surrender and it brings amazing clarity. These are just some of the amazing magical benefits of surrendering to our negative feelings. The process is magical because it can heal instantly. It happens all the time when I do it. There is just too many stories I can't tell you today. Do my goddess prayer, release something, and it magically heals. <sighs> Feel better already. I hope if you're doing this, you have some physical reaction because that means it's working. Please let me know if it does. Now, I'm going to go into step two because I want this coaching audio to be concise. Um, deciding to change is two. Now, all these steps in my beautiful big program, my membership program, Your Best Year, and I'll mention that at the end. Deciding to change. Often hitting rock bottom, feeling very uncomfortable from a really bad situation will motivate us to change. Things I mentioned previously, severe financial hardship, if it's bankruptcy, if it's addiction and you're rock bottom, if it's weight gain, you're rock bottom, if it's any health issue, it's a terrible relationship issue and you've been hurt so badly, you're rock bottom, I'm never doing this again. Now, this is when we decide that we're going to change and this is how we transform back to the title, the path to peace, because we need to decide. Others can help us and advise us which is what I do most of the day and I love doing this and helping people. The person I'm coaching and you who's listening now has to make that decision. I can help guide you and advise you the steps I take or that I took that helped me. You are the only one who makes the decision to change and that is so empowering because it's up to you. I get passionate, passionate, passionate. Soapbox, I call it. You decide. You have the power. Also on number two, when you decide to change, it's getting something positive from this negative situation we're talking about, which is very cliched, but it's so true. And the most obvious one that I draw from a negative situation is that it makes you stronger. 
it's also that never again motivation. It's happened to me so many times and this is why I'm coach on this. Really negative situations have felt really bad and rock bottom. Never again am I going through that again. That's where I'm at with certain things that have happened in my past. Deciding to change because it felt so bad you never want to go through it again. So that's two. And I'm going to move on to three. It's change your habits. I think I'm already over 10 minutes, but I just want to wrap this up because I like 10 to 15 minute audio coaches. There's always more if you want more in a program and so on, but I really want to get as much as I can into these coaching lessons. That's my style. That's my mission. That's my passion, like 15 minutes tops audios. So after we've accepted it and we've released all those negative emotions and we've left all this beautiful space to bring in all these beautiful new experiences and saying, I'm ready to receive these beautiful new experiences, then we change our habits. And by the way, I only wrote this like five minutes before I recorded this. And that's how I do the coaching a lot. It's this, this and this. It's one, two, three. It's change your habits, three. Small changes, small results. Big changes, big results. Simple, simplify. Repetition. So change your habits plus repetition. You may need to work on a limiting belief. That's another story. If That's if you're stuck in a situation. You can't move away from it. You can't get out of it. You can't change it. Um, trusting and knowing that this audio has already got you started and motivated to make the change. If you're too stuck, ask me about how to shift a limiting belief. If you're ready and you're saying, I'm moving on, I'm doing step one and two, then three is the habits. Start with anything. Change it. Change your habits. Repetition. That's my advice today. Step one. Feel the feelings, release them in the surrender and see me about the beautiful goddess prayer. Or if you're a man, you could call it God's prayer because I do coach men as well. And when I say God or goddess, I mean you are God, the God that God is within. It's pretty deep, but I totally believe that God is within and we heal ourselves. That's in essence the beautiful goddess prayer or God's prayer if you're a man and um, that will be getting going into a book very soon because I can't wait to share that goddess philosophy. And second advice, if you want more information, is the Your Best You membership program. I cover all the steps I've mentioned at length. So for any more coaching, please contact me at DonnaHanks.com or look out for my new audios and videos on my YouTube or follow me at DonnaHanks.com or all my socials. And I love sharing Coaching lessons in a short amount of time, 15 minutes. This is, I'm just looking now, 13 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up and say thank you for listening. I really trust and know that this advice is good and has helped you and I'd love to hear your feedback and I'd love to hear from you with your amazing results or if you need help, please contact me at any time and I wish you well always.